Hey guys, it's Destry. Welcome back to my Oregon yard. Do you know what we're doing today? That's right, it's unboxing day. We're gonna be looking at some things that I got in the mail today. And who knows, maybe you need some of these items um, or maybe it will just inspire you to treat yourself to something. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's in my boxes today. Well, today I'm here in my yard and I got an Amazon order. So I'm excited to see what's in here. Now, this isn't everything I would use for spring uh, gardening or yardening as I like to call it, but um, I do have a specific project in mind and that is my Japanese maples and turning them into bonsai trees. So I did get some pots and some other things. So let me start opening and show you what I got today. All right, I'm gonna start with this box here. And again, if my dogs bark behind me, I apologize, but I have two Aussie Doodles. Come here, Milo and Max, and they make an appearance in a lot of my videos. So it's their yard too. So, oh, I didn't mean to rip that. Um, I have to give them space to be in the yard with me. Anyway, so, a little styrofoam here. So the backstory of this whole order is that I um, have some Japanese maple plants uh, and I would like to repot them out of nursery pots. Ooh. Uh oh, okay. Those are the trays. <laughs> this is a dramatic unboxing. Oh no. Okay. 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 Ooh, they're heavier than you'd think. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four terracotta pots with trays. And they look like they're in really good shape and none of them are broken, which is gonna be the first thing I look for anytime I order any pottery um, in the mail. But yeah, those look great. So these are gonna be really good to pot up some of my, um, my bonsais, uh, my Japanese maples in, or they'll just be handy to have around the house. Okay, so some more things for my potting up garden projects that I'm working on are these. And by the way, these are my um, super cool clippers from QVC. You guys know I talk about QVC, even though I don't, um, not necessarily fully do QVC, but I do order things off them there. And these clippers were like a set of three, I think they had for, I don't know how much, but it was right around the holidays and I use them for tons of stuff. So anyway, they're really handy. All right, so this one here, I'll just kind of hold it up. I will try to have um, as many things linked below if you're interested. These are just white plastic pots. So these um, also come with trays. And I'm, I'll have to look back at my order and kind of remember exactly what I got. But anyway, they do have really good drainage in the bottom, which I thought was better than just like a singular hole. And they come with trays. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So this is gonna be perfect for this project I have in mind. And I did get these a little while ago, so I wanted to share uh, these. I've shared them in one other video and I will link that video below. It has a lot of like my favorite Amazon finds and stuff on it. It's an older video I've done, but anyway. Um, this one is, these are my favorite like hanging pots because they have this tray and you can see how much water um, is in there. And it kind of looks like cork or something, but it's not, it's just plastic. And they come in some really pretty colors. So now I have them in like a charcoal gray and I have them in this pretty green, which actually matches my green Vigo garden beds. Um, I think it's called the olive green color for Vigo. Anyway, they match really well. So I'm excited to have those. Oh, and the other thing I like about them, you guys, hold up, is that they have a chain instead of the plastic. So usually the ones you get at the nursery, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, but they have those like stiff plastic hangers and that's great, but it's kind of hard to store them. And I like these as far as like, you know, at the end of the season, I can quickly and easily take them down and take off the chain. So here's what the chain looks like and it's just black and it seems to work really well and it'll attach in three places. Um, so anyway, it's easier to store them this way rather than those big, long, stiff ones that I'm sure you know what I'm talking about if you ever bought a hanging basket. And I have some of those too, but I prefer these. 
So that'll be fun to plant up this year. Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, ooh, okay, I think I kind of remember this one. So I'll give you a little sneak peek here at the box. It's really heavy. Ooh. Oh, okay, has a dust resistant drainage net. Ooh, this is nice. Comes with three felt pieces for the bottom, I assume. That's little wicking trays or something. And the styrofoam isn't that kind that's like, kind of gets everywhere. Feels like it's sort of recycled. The packaging box is recycled. Okay. Ooh. Let's be careful with this one. I'm gonna drop it. Oh my gosh, okay. All right. I if I should flip these over. I'm gonna flip them over. Okay, so these are a terracotta pot set. But look at the color, you guys. It's like this really pretty, like, darker terracotta. And I also thought that the shape of these was really modern. It's kind of different than, like, you know, the one terracotta pots I had down there. And then look at the bottom. How cute is that? Nice big drainage hole. So this is a set of three sizes. So I thought this would be a good set for whatever. Anyway, that's those. So again, I'll be sure to link them. I think they had these in other colors too. They had them in like a lighter, regular terracotta. They had white, I think, and maybe black. That might've been it. But anyway, they're really pretty. It's a nice set. And they came with the little the little um, mats for the bottom. So that's really nice. All right, let me look around and see what else I got. So really quickly on that set we were just looking at, I did realize there are three um, uh, coasters also, and they also have the little leaf mark. So really cute set. Anyway, I just found those in the box. So there they are. Okay, it's time to move on to bigger box. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, this I totally forgot that I ordered. <laughs> More pots. <laughs> I must have been really looking at pots that night, looking at the, uh, the lists of things. Trays for pots, those are pretty cute. So these are plastic, green. Oh, and here's the pots. Oh, okay, so these are just gallon pots that are um, kind of like a nursery pot, but just plain. So I could dress these up with like something for my Cricut machine, um, kind of what I've been thinking about. So I might do something there. And there's a, oh, there's a bunch more too. So let me see, I think there's some more sizes as well. So let me keep looking in here. Um, and this box didn't really have any markation on it as far as a brand or anything. So, I wonder if they're all gallon or... Okay, those are more gallon. Maybe they're just all gallon? I thought I got a different size too, but maybe not. <laughs> yeah, they're all gallon. So, that's cool. I have a bunch of these. Um, I'd have to count them to tell you exactly how many. <laughs> Um, I think if I remember right, I ordered these to see how they did and because I needed this size. And then if I like them, maybe I'll buy, um, you know, uh, the smaller sizes. I do think they had these in other colors though. Um, I'm pretty sure they had black. I don't know if they had white, but anyway, um, I got the green ones. They kind of go with some of my yard decor. So those are really cool. Those are going to be handy to have around. Okay, I've got another box. Um, here and it's actually the smallest box. I saved the smallest for last and I will show you what this is. So this is a bonsai wire kit and um, it's from a brand called Leaves and Soul and here is the back. So I did, I've been doing some research on bonsai. I know about this much about it but um, I do think I have the potential to turn some um, saplings I've had for a while into some bonsai forms. And I've kind of started training them a little bit, but I really wanted to do it the right way. So I got this kit. So let's see what's in here. I feel like I need to move closer to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so it's kind of what you saw in the box. There's a little clipper 
and then different gauges. And I believe these are different um, levels of intensity in the wire. So meaning different levels of, I guess, stiffness, would that be the word? Um, and so I think if I'm looking at this correctly, um, you start with the green uh, wire, which is the narrowest, and then move to the black, which is probably the next thinnest that I'm seeing also. Then you move to this copper, and then the larger rolls here are a more intense um, copper. I believe it goes black again, and then this would be for like a very developed bonsai because it's very stiff. So basically, the way I understand it is you start with the smaller, you know, thinner wires and you kind of work your way up to the more intense wires as you're wiring the structures of the branches and the trunks. So I'm very, very excited to give this a try and it definitely will be coming up in an upcoming video where I'll be sharing how to do that. Yeah, this is really cute. I like how it comes in the little bag too, so I can keep all those supplies together. Well, you guys, I think that's it for my unboxing right now. I do have another package I'm expecting. Um, and so I'll have to share that with you in maybe like one of the shorter videos um, that you can do on YouTube or TikTok. I've been trying to do TikTok and Instagram Reels. Um, anyway, so maybe I'll share that there when I get it. But since you did stay to the end of the video, I have a sneak peek for you at a bigger box that I'm not actually gonna open today but I will be opening it soon and I definitely will be taking you through that process. So let me give you that sneak peek now that you stay to the end. Okay guys, here's your sneak peek. Can you guess what's in the box? Leave me in the comments um, your best guess and I will reveal more in an upcoming video. All right guys, I think that's gonna be it for my video today. I hope that you liked it and found it fun and helpful. Um, and yeah, if you did, could you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and a like, share my channel with a friend that also likes to garden. That would be so awesome. If you need me, I'll be hanging out in my yard. I'll see you next time. Bye.